How often have you walked out of a boardroom, training center, or convention hall, and felt that you were a rousing success? You made an indelible connection with the audience. You were powerful, persuasive, and on message. In case you haven't done that, or would like to do it consistently, these are the five Fripp principles that will help you. In a case we haven't had the pleasure of meeting, I'm Patricia Fripp, known as the presentation skills expert. The secret of connecting to an audience is to speak as an audience advocate. In other words, what is their interest in your subject? Can you make sure you also address each part of the audience that will be in front of you? Two, the first 30 seconds and the last 30 seconds have the most impact. The purpose of the opening of your presentation is to arouse interest in your subject. Make sure, even if that is the only part you script, that you know exactly how you're going to open so that you can focus on the audience. Three, every presentation, whether it's five minutes, 50 minutes, or five hours, is built around a premise, a big idea, or the central theme. I like to ask my clients, if you had one sentence, rather than 45 minutes, what would you say? Always remember what the big idea is and structure your presentation simply around how do you prove your premise? How do you reinforce your big idea? Fourth is stories. Stories are a great way to explain the complex or to let your audience see what you are saying. If the story is about you, and many of my executive clients say, do they want to hear personal stories? Yes, because it's very important that your audience can see the person behind the position. Stories are about people, and characters within your story speak. So don't report on the dialogue, deliver the dialogue. You might be telling a story that was, when I was growing up, my mother always gave me this advice. Compared to, when I was growing up, my dad always said, don't concentrate on making a lot of money, but rather concentrate on becoming the type of person people want to do business with. Then you most likely will make a, make a lot of money. And the fifth principle is being specific. Specificity builds credibility. For example, I ask my clients frequently, if it weren't a thing, what would it be? For example, one of my executive engineer clients, in his presentation, he was saying there are two things people love about. I said, if they weren't things, what would they be? He said, innovative upgrades. You said, there are billions of people in the world. What people love your innovative upgrades? He said, systems administrators. Can you see the difference in the quality of the communication between there are two things people love compared to there are two innovative upgrades that systems administrators love? Focus on your audience and how your message relates to them. Open with impact and close on a high. Have a simple structure built around your premise or central theme. Tell stories to illustrate your point and make an emotional connection. And remember, specificity builds credibility. This is Patricia Fripp, known as the Presentation Skills Coach. Good luck.